So is this Norvell Morriso painting fake or real? Seneca College brought in Jonathan Summer of Morriso Art Consulting to tell them. We applied um, the whole wide range of analysis methods to this. Uh, we looked at uh, materials, we looked at uh, Morelian analysis, historical analysis, trying to put it into context. Um, we looked at the provenance and Unfortunately, we came to the conclusion that it's a fake. Aww. Just kidding. <laughs> Joking aside, forgeries of the works of major artists like Morriso is a lucrative business. Summer says there are likely more than 6,500 fakes of the artist's work alone out on the market, and it's easy to see why. Morriso is an iconic, he's the grandfather of the Woodland School of Art. He's probably the most important Indigenous artist that we've ever had in Canada. And so his art is greatly sought after. When it comes to the forgeries of Morriso's work, Summer says not only is it illegal, but also a form of cultural appropriation. Because what is this if not the robbing of the, it's a, it's a form of colonization when, when people come along and I can say that a lot of the people who are allegedly involved in this are white people who've come along and who are taking, um, taking liberties with and stealing the, the message, the, the, the soul of, of this great indigenous artist. Rima Tavares is the manager of equity, diversity and inclusion at Seneca College. She says the college is proud of its Indigenous art collection and it is a major relief the piece Summer examined is indeed real. Yeah, we're absolutely delighted to find out that it's an authentic Norval Morisot piece. Um, you know, we purchased it a long time ago and it's been a part of our collection for a very long time and so it's nice to have that uh, knowledge that it is authentic and uh, that we are, you know, holding a piece of amazing Norval Morisot history here. It's one that's been in their collection for 50 years. Fraser Needham. AP10 National News, Toronto. Thank you. Thank you.